Leicestershire were denied their first LV County Championship win in two years and their first on their travels for four summers as Essex batted out the final day of their LV County Championship match in Chelmsford. Leicestershire had really needed wickets on the previous evening but instead Jake Mickelborough and Greg Smith were able to knock off 101 runs of the 152 run first innings deficit in spite of losing Tom Wesley early. Resuming their innings both in the 40s, both batsmen turned their starts into 50s. Mickelbras came off 119 balls, while Smith needed 95 for his. Leicestershire simply had to get some wickets in the morning session to give them a chance, but in the end they had to settle for two, as these two batsmen both perished before the break. On 67, Mickelbras was bowled by a quick, full-length delivery from Nathan Buck, a man who can be pleased with the way he's performed now he's back in the side after injury. Smith had made 85 and looked good for 100 when he made the mistake of thinking he could take a sharp single to Josh Cobb. He was rightly sent back by Mark Bettini but still failed to make his ground. Boosted by that, Leicestershire had to come out after lunch with all guns blazing. Anthony Ireland found some bounce to surprise Bettini who could only use the shoulder of his bat to deflect the ball to Jiganake. That left Essex on 188 for four, which put them 36 runs ahead, and there were still plenty of overs left in the day. A side more used to winning cricket matches might have found something from somewhere, but Leicestershire were held up for the next 12 overs by Ben Folkes and James Foster, a man who hardly ever lets his side down. Leicestershire did at least have the second new ball to make one final charge towards the victory line, Charlie Shrek immediately had folks taken behind for 17. Essex now led by 61. But the next 21 overs were easily seen out by the fantastic Foster and Kishan Villani, the 19-year-old batting with a lot of maturity to frustrate Leicestershire. Both batsmen kept up their concentration and battled hard for the draw. And by the time we got towards the last hour, they'd taken their side 119 runs ahead with five wickets still left standing. That was enough for Leicestershire and the game was drawn with Essex ending on 271 for 5, Foster adding 41 more runs to his season's tally and Villani surviving for 80 minutes for his 21. Leicestershire will be disappointed that they couldn't finish the job off. They've now drawn all three of their matches this summer. They claim 11 points to Essex's 8. Both sides miss the next round of matches starting on Sunday.